take a look at this. Please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and share this video to all of your friends. Now, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so welcome to this mini tutorial and today I will create some kind of addition to my Devil Fruit spawning notifier. So uh, shoutouts to Sam ASP. He has commented that he advanced that Devil Fruit modifier I have made so he has um, added some kind of positioning so you're now able to check the distance between yourself and the devil fruit. And I just want to quickly cover that up in this video because it is not that difficult. So first of all, let's import my notifier, my devil fruit notifier spawning system whatsoever. So there we go, hit, hit insert, then open this up and set it up. So put everything in the correct order and if you have no clue on how you set up on how you can set up my models then i recommend checking out my first mini tutorial i guess so in that mini tutorial i have explained it to you guys therefore check it out all right so we have just set this up now let's see if it works There we go. A, devil, a fruit can be found in this server. Alright. Now. How can you... Yeah. Make this... Make this GUI... Show the distance between you and the double fruit. So there are several conditions we still need to clear up. So let me give you a quick example, quick example of what I'm talking about. So there is this case when multiple devil fruits are spawned, and then we have to decide on which devil fruit we want the distance to be displayed to. So let's say you have two gummo fruits right here, and then the GUI has to decide um, to which of those gomus is the distance referring to and that's an, and this, and that that is a huge issue guys all right and i'm still thinking on how we could deal with that problem so let me take a look at the spawner right here so I can make the spawn time and the despawn time the same means there's always one devil fruit which is spawned in the server. So that's the thing we could do and that would be a solution for the problem I've just mentioned. So therefore let's just do it and see how it works. So as you can see we have one devil fruit right here. And once this one disappears another one will spawn. And as you can see that's totally the case. All right, so okay, we have this control script right here. Now let's add another text label called distance. Okay, let's let's call this thing distance, and this will of course display the distance between the player and the double fruit. So let me just design this very quickly. I know I'm just I'm just gonna give random properties to it. All right, so there we go. So now to the question, how are we able to display the distance? 
first of all, let's make this thing invisible. And now let's add a code right here, which is responsible for this text to uh, appear. So, script parent distance visible, because visible is a property, so we are referring to this property right here, and by saying equal true, we are ticking this one, okay? But only per script. Now we gotta do the same for the other case, so if there is no double fruit, then we of course want the distance or this text to be invisible. Okay, so that should work without any problem. Now, let's, let's create another thing. So let's create a variable called PF, which obviously stands for devil fruit. Now I gotta check. Yeah, so I gotta check out the script right here. So, let's try to pass the instance directly. I mean, so what I'm talking about is right here we are obviously cloning the devil fruit outside of this folder inside the workspace. Oh, no, inside of this folder right here, spawn DFs. And we can actually pass this variable, which stands for the devil fruit, with our fire client means we can access properties so no attributes like the position and stuff so we can access it inside of this script so it should work but i'm actually not sure because when i tried to pass instances through a fire client it did not work but maybe it will work this time so let's just see so add this df as a third argument right here and it becomes the second argument right here because the player does not need to be mentioned, okay? And makes no sense to mention because you're obviously inside of a local script and I hope you understand. All right, so the app equals value two. And now let's just see if we are able to, yeah, uh, have, or if we are able to access the devil fruit which we have just passed so if that's the case then it should print out the devil fruit's name instead of the output all right so we are able to do that which is great because now we can do the following so we can do while the f do wait script parent distance text is equal to all right so what we are obviously doing right here is we are creating a while loop which loops till no which loops as long as this devil fruit as this devil fruit instance exists and it exists because it has been spawned in the first place and once the devil fruit despawns it does not exist anymore because it gets destroyed when it is supposed to despawn. And when that happens, then the loop will automatically stop. Alright, so that's how it should work, okay? But we'll see if it actually does that. So now to this part, so we need to add this weight here because otherwise this loop would crash our game. And now to the next line, so script.parent distance text. So we are again referring to this text label, so to our distance text at the left bottom corner, and then to the text property right here. And we want to change the text to the distance between our player and the double fruit. And now to do that, let's just check out this format right here. So distance, and then the distance in stats so in a number and then this stats text right after and now between those four dots we need to do the following so we need to 
Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it in a bit. All right, so double fruit handle position minus the position of our humanoid report means game players local player character humanoid root part position okay and it might look very complicated to you guys but i'm gonna explain it to you so first of all what is this so the f is obviously the devil fruit we have spawned and now we are accessing to the handle so to this one and every double fruit model requires a handle therefore we can easily just look out for this handle then we are accessing or referring to the position so we obviously need the position to find out the distance okay and now we are using this position minus our character's position or our humanoid root ports position to be exact so game players local player so we are just referring to our player and then to our character and then to our humanoid root part which is the root part of our character and therefore we can just use its position to say all right so this is our character's position okay and that's what we are doing right here and then those two things minus each other dot magnitude to get a single number single number out of it otherwise we have we would have a vector and then this is obviously a number so the outcome is a number and we need to convert it into a string therefore this two string and that's it so this should work now let's see if it works let's hope so All right, so it changes like crazy, really. Okay. Yeah, all right, so we probably need to, yeah, put some weight into it. So let's wait. 0.5 seconds. All right, so as you can see, it updates very slowly. Well, not very slowly, but not as fast as used to. But the numbers after this point are still annoying. And in order to do something about that we can just do map floor so it returns the largest integer smaller uh, than or equal to x so we can just use this to make this thing only a single number instead of having a well a huge number As you can see. And it works totally fine. So there we go. Okay, for some reason. So it sometimes shows 34, 36, and that's that. That's not good, but it overall works, and that's the most important thing. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me let me just remove this um, yeah, this argument instead of this weight. So it obviously just determines the amount of seconds we need to wait so let's just say we do we do not want to wait any seconds so we want this thing to update rapidly and then as you can see we do not have this issue and this thing updates rapidly very fast 
<laughs> All right. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So, is it? Yeah, so right here where it says unnotify the app, let's just do a single thing. So let's say devil fruit. So this variable right here equals nil. So let's say if that changes something. Let's see, I mean, let's see if that changes something. Okay, so it does work, guys. So there's nothing to complain about, I think. Works totally fine. It reacts to distance changes, etc. So, okay. I really have no clue why it does that, but it does its purpose and it's good, I think. So it is quite okay. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have enjoyed it, then please leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, share this video to all of your friends, and please give me feedback in the comment section, guys. And as always, there is a link to this model inside of the description, but there is always a link, uh, there is any, there's also a link, sorry guys, there's also a link to my Discord server in the description, and to my roblox game which i am creating apart from those youtube series i am doing okay so take care guys and see you